Welcome everyone. Hello, my Aquarius friends. How are you today? Yes, well, I'm following next from the water signs of Pisces, Cancer, and um, Scorpio with you, Aquarius. And if you have a birthday in February, happy birthday, okay? And um, I'm doing something different for this month of February with my Clairvoyant Alchemy series. I'm uh, doing a reading about Venus Mystical Love. I'm calling it Venus Mystical Love. I received a, um, a email from this artist, uh, this astrologer by the name of Aeolian Heart. Aeolian Heart. And she reads here, the email reads, On February 10th, Venus will return to her place of exaltation in the sign of Pisces, where her magical powers will reach their highest height, exclamation mark. Venus traditionally rules the signs of Taurus and Libra, but she is exalted and therefore most glorified in Pisces, exclamation mark. Why? Because Venus is delighted to return to the legendary place of her birth, the deep blue sea. Hail Venus. Sea foam and endless water are her place of origin, where she is transformed into the omnipresent titanic goddess once again. In astrology, Venus represents the universal force of attraction, that which creates union between spirit and matter. And what makes your spirit feel more fully embodied than sensual pleasure and luxury? In the tradition of astrological magic, Venus workings can be used for attracting everything that makes life worth living, including love, sex, money, and creative fulfillment. And here she had an image about the Venus that's like a famous image. It's an Aphrodite and Venus, so I was saying. While Venus is in Pisces, you can also heal from any sense of unworthiness surrounding love, sex, money, or creativity. Once those scars have been softened, Venus and Pisces magic can be done to attract new romance, a new stream of income, new creative inspiration, or anything else which might make your life more delicious. With plenty of time to anticipate some good fortune, Please prepare to enjoy this beautiful Venusian season. Once again, Venus will be transiting Pisces from February 10th through March 6, 2018. Okay, so we have <clears throat> pretty much the month here from uh, February to March to make it happen. And Aquarius, I've totally... Um, going to align many of my videos now with chakras. Um, they're very on top of that for me to do. And Aquarius, your chakra is the first chakra, the root chakra, the root chakra, security, grounding, survival instinct, okay? And the crystals are coral, bloodstone, and garnet and ruby. But this is the root chakra, you know, at the back of your spine there, okay? And the root chakra. The base of the spine is the boundary for the torso, and like Saturn, the ancient ruler of Aquarius, this chakra sets limits. Aquarians are legendary for understanding the bounds of good taste and manipulating the situation for personal gain. You are most powerful when your audience feels grounded in your story. Okay. And uh, so you also have your ancient ruler is Saturn, but your present ruler is Uranus, okay? And so you have double whammy on some powerful planets. That's all I'm going to say, Aquarius. But I talk about you a lot, Aquarius, because I, I find you as visionaries, and, but for the group, you know, for many people. Like a, you, you can see what should be happening for the global union of prosperity, okay? Even though you're there to... <laughs> get a piece of it. Hey, if you're seeing it and you're working it and it's good vibes, why not? Okay. But you truly have, you know, Saturn is the discipline planet. And I talk about Saturn because it's Saturn has come through very often with um, major arcana number 21. That's Saturn's um, trump card, the world. So literally you put the steps in 
you know, you've been the spiritual initiate, you've gone through all the phases, you've met all the characters, the archetypes, and you still end up with the world, okay? That you've you've brought it to fruition. Okay, so remind yourselves of that. And Uranus is another one that's kind of unique to you because it's the uh, rebellious kind of freedom-loving uh, planet. And that trump card is the fool. So you start as the spiritual initiate, the zero, first card, major card, and zero card, usually known as the fool, but I prefer the word spiritual initiate. And you do attain the world at the end. Okay? So it's very powerful for you. And on December 31st, I have this new series that started when I did those chakra videos last year. And that the next theme they wanted me, the next series was Angels Being Loving Miracles. So for 2018, please align with your angels, okay? They're here for sure for us, especially if you're awakening or you've awakened to spirituality. But I chose to um, bring a video through from for Annie L, sexuality, and that's the image of Aphrodite, also known as Venus, okay? So and and that that reading brought some good information. It was like a Venus light Earth connection. So. I was so proud when I read this email. When was this email done? I just received it a few days ago. So here I did this on December 31st, and then I get this email about how Venus is going. Because I'm not the astrologer, my friends, okay? I don't really, unless I read about it, I'm not aware, or, or I don't look up. I don't look to read about it. So we're tapping the table, okay, with Aniel here as well. And it was a lovely read if you're interested in doing that. But. I usually do my monthly readings, and I will do the monthly reading for February, but I wanted to do these love readings first for all the zodiac signs, and then when I sit down and do the monthly reading for February, we can really see what we tapped, because so far it's been positive. But mainly, this is a uh, second month of the year, uh, February, it's a Pisces healer's moon, the high priestess is aware too. She's number two, right? The high priestess. And I just want to go down to here. These goddesses right here. Um, Brigitte, Kuan Yin, Diana, and Aphrodite. We're mainly talking about Aphrodite Venus right now with this whole monthly reading. And Diana Artemis has come back to back, okay? For Pisces and um, Scorpio yesterday. Scorpio got him. No, Pisces. Scorpio or Cancer, and then Scorpio got both Diana and Artemis goddess cards. The goddess cards I have them right here. I'll pick one at the end. Okay, so that was like hot stuff, hot stuff. And the medicine is rising energy, purification, new growth, honoring, forgiving yourself, self love. Okay, remember, how can you really meet that true love soulmate person if you don't really like yourself? You want to speak of universal powers aiding us in that department, those those concepts of what our life should be. Accepting responsibility and planning for the future. Okay. And what's so awesome is here we are in 2018, starting a whole new year. And we've talked about the 2018 is a master 11 code, you know, 2021381811. And that master code is very powerful, 1111, if you watch 1111. I talk about it because I've always seen the numbers, and actually I was married on 11-11-1989, okay, so, it, but one plus one is two, and there's a pairing, and we've been talking about that, and I know I repeat myself, but I do have new subscribers, but it's, it's to recognize that this is, this, this is all cosmic universal laws coming for us, okay, this is nothing about man-made scientist stuff, no. Not even religions can talk about, make this stuff up, okay? This is cosmic universal law coming through, and we need to pay attention. Because spiritually, it's all about cosmic laws, okay? That's what metaphysics and esoteric wisdom is all about. Nothing man-made, okay? And nothing from Bibles and nothing about religions. This is when, and here we have, coming up just a few more days on the 31st, this most powerful super moon on the sign of Leo, lunar eclipse, blood moon, a blue moon. We've had that powerful cancer in the beginning of January. And on the 31st, here we have uh, uh, this moon that has 
the last time it was this powerful like this and these um how do they say these targets was back 150 years ago all right so woo, look at this card just flipping my hand <laughs> there you go see can't make this up so uh, aquarius and you are you're an air element sign you know you do a lot of thinking okay you do a lot of thinking but we want you to now really be more grounded in spirituality than ever because as i share i truly feel you're some of the visionaries for being an intellectual air element of zodiac sign but you do work for the profound you know and your mantra is i know <laughs> you know so it's like but sometimes when you all say, I know, I know, sometimes it can be a little bit more of ego. So we want to come more from, you know, start from the root all the way up to your crown chakra, which this powerful super moon, blue moon, red blue moon is in the sign of Leo, ruled by our sun. Okay. And it's not coincidence that in January 1st, we opened with cancer, another super moon in cancer. And Cancer's ruler is the moon. So that in one month, blue moon, two full moons in one month, is blue, known as blue moon, we have Cancer, Luna, Leo, Sun. Okay. Cancer's third eye, psychic intuition, the brow chakra, and Leo is the crown chakra towards um, spirituality. And only, 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 only um, Cancer has the brow chakra. And only uh, Leo has the crown chakra. They're the only two zodiac signs that have their own chakras. If not, the other zodiac signs uh, have a coupling for each of the others. Okay? So, and if you have, you know, Cancer or Leo in your charts, or you just love following the moon cycles, and I've said it before, uh, you know, without our sun star, without Luna, uh, and Luna's not a planet, Luna's a satellite, okay? Uh, Earth would not exist, all right? But yes, Aquarius, this is about you now, whether it's your sun, moon, or rising sign. And, you know, I always um, totally agree that you should always watch other um, videos to relate to your other uh, persona elements that you are, traits, okay? But, um, yeah, 2018 is going to be very powerful for a coupling, a pairing, and that could be in friendship, you know, like you you just know each other. Whether it's friendship, business, or a new love, you're gonna you're gonna know it. You're gonna like take a double look, a double whammy feel, you know, you you will know something's happening, okay? And um and business as well. So it's very powerful this year. But you have to ground yourselves first. Okay, this is this is not about, um, how do we say, uh, coincidence. No coincidence. This is all uh, by design. By design. Okay. So keep the antenna alert. And you'll feel it, you know. I mean, your eyes can be closed and you'll feel it. How they speak, you know. You, you just will know. It's, it's, it's that kind of magic going to happen mystical love too and if you're already married deeply in love uh you you guys can even grow even stronger that's the beauty of this year it's really about respect who respects each other and fight oh look at that too <laughs> my hand ouch you wow okay well let's lay it down like this okay that doesn't happen very often all right, because, yeah, we already have a bonus card, so uh, these videos have been almost going into 50 minutes because I've been opening up already with the information why I'm, I've chosen to select this month doing this uh, love. Uh, I, I, I Actually, I have my true love tarot, which is right here in my hand, which I've used a lot. This lover's tarot, which I don't bring forward too much. I, I do like it. It's very powerful, but the images are kind of, in a way boring to me at times so I, I just like more you know I like more elements in the images and then I do have the lover's tarot over there 
Okay, and we have Archangel Aniel here with sexuality. So, um, and uh, Empress Venus also came through for Cancer. It was very, her, Cancer's uh, uh, reading was very powerful. So, so let's see what happens, okay, my darlings? Um, much blessings to you in 2018 and make it make it happen for you, Aquarius, you know, and bring forward the, the peace and love for all of us, okay? Two of Swords, okay? So this card has already come through for the water signs. I'm trying to think, which water sign did it come through? I want to say Pisces, but... But this exact same card from this deck has already come through. And here we have, we were talking about the twos. A pairing is coming through. And Aquarius, the air element, the swords, is the mental side of you. Okay, and it's all masculine active. When we see the swords, the air element, that's all masculine active. And actually, the king of swords is the highest king of all the others. Okay, he's the highest rank court card the king of swords. So he's the king of king because he has that clear conscience. He thinks, he thinks before he acts. You know, like I adore the king of cups. He's he's the father, you know, love. Um, but he sometimes comes from his heart and 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 doesn't think straight sometimes. But this this king uh, of swords is very powerfully how he can rule his kingdom. But sometimes he doesn't have too much compassion either. So. We, it's called the balance, but here we have the pairing, okay? There's a pairing coming, and this is about working together, cooperating, whether in business, friendship, you know, lovers. This is truly about you, and, and I, I mentioned it many, many times. If you are already married and love each other, and you're thinking, you know, we can run our own business, I totally say yes to that. You know, if you already have a bonded relationship in marriage and you're considering, you know, listen, we work hard. We know what to do. Let's see if we can make something happen together. Oh, I, I definitely give two thumbs for that. Look at this, this. These cards are coming back to back. Now, the Hierophant has already come through. This exact same card from this exact same deck. Okay. And the Hierophant is um, like a Pope figure, a religious figure. But, you know, it's it's somebody that, um, uh, how do you say, can, can, like, marry you in the respect of, because he's that religious type of personality. And uh, yet, but, you know, it's like the Vatican. They rule money, too. <laughs> this is Taurus's card. Uh, the Zodiac sign Taurus uh, trump card. And Taurus is ruled by Venus. Okay, so we do have some love here. We definitely do. Okay, so, but, you know, don't don't get caught up in material possessions. You know, don't be stubborn about, oh, it's about making money, make money. No, 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 no. We're going with the flow of the universe, okay? And that's what spirituality is about. You know, I mean, yeah, you got to, you know, you got to walk the talk and, and you got to work it. I mean, there's no free ride on this planet, my friends, but um, this is not about ego making money, okay? And, um, and you know, Aquarius, sometimes you do come from that mental side of yourselves. And, you know, some of you can be a little bit more inclined to, you know, because you think, you do think, I call you, I call you all visionaries. You do think towards the future, um, but it's not about, uh, you know, I'm going to make money. And, you know, actually, I just read something about like uh, Bill Gates and, What's his, the man's name from Virgin Records? He's like no billionaire. That they never sat down to grow their businesses, you know, for money. They just knew they had an idea and they wanted to work it. And then the money just came, okay? And that's when you align with the universe, okay? And that's how that works. Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> now, we already had an Ace of Pentacles. And I want to say it was this card, too. Ah, or maybe, no, it wasn't from this deck, I think. Ah, that's what happens when you do these readings back to back. You kind of, but this is wonderful, Aquarius. The table for February has already, and now you're my fourth read, okay? 
Now, these two cards exactly came through already, okay? So now we're tapping the table. They want, they're talking to us. This is how we need to do it, okay? And this Ace of Pentacles has already come through. New beginnings and working with Earth, getting grounded. The Pentacles is about that, the Earth element, the resources, okay? And it could be that maybe you have a new project or, you know, and you, you know, we all, there's nothing wrong with making money, not at all, especially if you give back, you know, like those two billionaires I was talking about, Gates and, um, boy, I can't remember his name right now, the one from Virgin, Virgin Records, I think it is, they're huge philanthropists, okay? They do give back. So, again, yes, we have to pay our bills. Yes, we have to make money. But no, we don't have to be greedy and shady how we do it, okay? But there the table is saying there's new beginnings to really grow into what you desire, okay? Because aces are also about desiring, desiring, but with with good intentions, okay? Good int nothing shady, okay? Uh, spirituality is not about being shady. Okay, now look, this is the first time this card's come through. Major Arcana, here we have it. We we're talking about that um, zero spiritual initiate card. The Fool card has arrived for us. That's pretty good. And actually, that's kind of wild. We were just talking about you, Aquarius, how you have Saturn and Uranus as your two planets, and this this card, uh, Major Arcana, Zero Fool, represents planet Uranus. Okay? We just said it. And that's about being freedom-loving, having your independence, being kind of a rebel. Actually, in traditional tarot, you usually see a, a man, a, a, or a young man, a young man, even a boy sometimes, who's holding his little, you know, cane with his little backpack kind of thing. A little dog is following him. He's literally got his foot on the, on the mountain and he's leaping forward like he's taking that leap of faith okay he's literally taking that leap of faith off the mountain okay and the dog is happy and he's smiling it's a positive investment in your world so make it happen okay this is here for you don't give up but there's change really there's a, for everybody this is 2018 is Full of changes. And, and and that's the thing about spirituality as well. Tamino and Pamina. I'm not sure of these two couple. This this lover's tarot path, the lover's path tarot, is all about two lovers who li literally lived in mythology and what they went through. So we might have to read that, but we can tell there's a desire for new beginnings. And um, we have water, we have fire, we have stone. Okay, so, but it is about that earth, air, fire, water, and spirit coming through. Okay, and the male is blindfolded, you see, taking that leap of faith. Okay, take that leap of faith. Oh boy, look at this. Uh -huh. My favorite prince has come through. <laughs> the prince of staves, the, the um, prince of fire. The Knight of Wands, you know, Prince and Knights are the same. And here he is. He's usually known as that, um, you know, he's he's single-minded, but he's focused. And he's sort of <laughs> unpredictable, okay? But he has a lot of power to take action and authority. He's very energetic. He's one of those characters where the men love him, the females love him, you know? The males enjoy his company. The females want more than that. But it's he's really cool. He's the playboy of the deck. Siegfried. You know, I'm not familiar who Siegfried is in um, ancient mythology. But I've heard of this. But I don't know personally. We might have to look him up too. But see, that we love when the prince or the princess comes through. The page or the knight in the respect. Because we like to say that that's the young blood. And we can see the sun is in the background. Okay. Get outdoors. Get grounded. Fire, passion, power. Um, this powerful new moon on the 31st is in the sign of Leo. Ruled by the sun I just mentioned. So please contemplate these next few days. Um, 
this next, especially this week, and make a journal of what you want to release. No longer serves you. That's what we do in power in, in full moons. Release it. If, if, there, if that means people, uh, situations of your job or whatever, health, make it vibrate to this beautiful 2018. Look how beautiful Queen of Cups is here. How lovely. Talking about that full moon. Here she is by the water. And definitely, if you can get by a body of water, then that's even... I, so much. I want to watch this powerful book. But it starts at 5 in the morning. And where I live in Florida, I mean, we can start seeing it happen at 5 in the morning. And I don't want to be by myself outside on the beach at 5 in the morning. you know. So it's like, I don't know if I'm going to make that happen. But, uh, yeah, it's wonderful. Beautiful. You have the mountains, the earth. And she's, you know why we love when the knights as well, the prince here, the prince and the queens and the kings come through. Uh, they're already in the castle. As we like to say it on this channel. They're already in the castle. They're, they know that they're royalty. They've mastered themselves. Like Say it like that. You know, not so much born into royalty. No, we don't want to say it that way. But they know they have mastered themselves. And they have to master themselves more to gain respect from their people, from their kingdom. Okay? But the Queen of Cups, she's like the mother. You know, the mother figure. Um, she's sort of like uh, Venus, uh, Empress, number three, Major Arcana, Empress Venus. The Empress's uh, card, Trump card, is ruled by planet Venus because she's the mothering. She wants to love you and embrace you, and she is. She's about childbirth. Um, she's very sensual as well, and, um, you know, consider her as a good, um, how we say, sort of like a, a good figure catalyst to, to flow with in this month of February as well and that young blood <laughs> the prince of fire how cool is that right okay let's see we got this look at that how nice is this well you know these readings have been unique that we've been getting in every single reading um the same card but from two different decks okay that doesn't happen a lot but it has happened and <laughs> Uh, this is the fourth reading, beginning with the air element sign for Aquarius. And look, Aquarius, they're telling you, you'll have reward if you start desiring a new beginning for yourself in 2018, especially in this month of uh, February, obviously. Okay? Desire. Have some I new ideas that can bring forward, you know, because this is the pentacles, so we speak of uh, resources, money, obviously. How you can make better choices to bring forward the coin to help you, you know, buy your first home or pay off debts or, you know, whatever, whatever it is for you. But this is very opportunistic. And see, we already have the castle right here. See that? The castle's already, you know, and dream big. 2018 is about dreaming big. But there is a special pairing, you know, again, whether that's someone who helped you, you meet this person like you align and you can make money together, business, professional, you respect each other, or, you know, friendships that give you good ideas or, you know, a love affair that lasts a lifetime. To, and, you know, again, I just mentioned how I truly feel, you know, if even if you've been married, you're married now and you feel that, hey, you know, we can run this. I have this new idea or we can do this. The money is on the table. And I'm trying to think. I know the Ace of Coins has come through, but did it come through as a double pairing? I'm trying to think. But I know that it's been very unique. All these readings have received two of the same kind of card from different decks. <laughs> Wow, Aquarius, look at this. So we were just sharing how Major Arcana card um, 
is the major arcana card for planet Uranus, okay, about being uh, that independent, rebellious, but with, with good desires for freedom of choice, you know, harm none, right? We harm none, well, what we're doing, but look, now you receive <laughs> the major arcana card for planet Saturn, the world. See, you remember, I just share with the, not, not in this reading, but last month, the world card kept coming through quite often as well during certain readings. And, and I said, you know, it's like <laughs> Tony Montana in the Scarface movie, the world is yours. Right? Not that we want to make money like that. That's what I said. No, it's not about being shady and cartel stuff. No. No, 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 no. You see what happens to him at the end, right? He He's taken out by lots of machine gun power. But, but the world can be yours spiritually and and physically and and monetarily look at this we have two desires new beginnings for making money ideas and here we have the hierophant it's like the vatican that's all <laughs> they do over there right make money i don't know i tease the vatican because it's just ironic to me how the Romans crucified Jesus, and yet the Catholic Church, the highest Catholic Church is in Rome as the Vatican. And it does piss me off that they have museums and, and hidden libraries hidden with books, and they don't, they don't share that metaphysical, esoteric wisdom. But, but anyway, that's another story. We're not going to take away from this fun stuff, but look at this. Both your planets have come through. That doesn't happen quite often either. So Aquarius, come on, think it through. And we got the pairing. This is what you do. You think it through, think it through. And there's someone you can talk to that you can feel comfortable with and trust. Ah, <gasps> Yowza, Aquarius. <laughs> you got another two. Now you got... Major Arcana number two. My favorite card in the deck. <laughs> the High Priestess is here for you, Aquarius. Now that's magic right there. With the High Priestess is all about Luna. She's all about that feminine principle. She's uh, about, you know, it's the moon, about how you feel, your emotions. She's about instinct. She's about psychic um, secrets, okay? You know, like the magician and the high priestess. You truly want to keep many things to yourself, okay, Aquarius? That's, that's good she came through because sometimes the Aquarius people I've known, it's like they tell too many what they want to do, and then, you know, the haters start sending you negative vibes. That's just how it is. You can't tell many people what you plan to do, especially... See this new beginning you have here? Don't be telling, don't, you know, I mean, share with your loved ones, of course, if, you know, if you if you feel warranted, but don't just be telling, you know, a friend you see every six months what your plans are. Don't, don't even do that. It's like you, it's like being the magician and the high priestess. You keep your magic to yourself, okay? You keep your magic to yourself until it's literally, physically, Attainable, okay. not just in your mind, not not in your dreams. This is because it's been, it's happening right now. Then you can share. But right now, she came through to tell you, keep it to yourself, okay? Keep everything to yourself right now. It's like hidden emotions, okay? Hidden emotions, and that's positive, okay? But now, as the high priestess, you have to follow Luna. Okay, the cycles of the moon, and you have to relate to the feminine principle, no doubt about it, like goddess energy, and and assimilate everything and write it down, write it down. Okay. Wow, look at this. We have Aphrodite, Venus, sexuality, and there we have another feminine, beautiful, receptive with the high priestess. <laughs> like in your reading, Aquarius, the ten of wings. Now this same exact card. Isn't that crazy? One, two, three. And I know these cards, this ace of coin has already come through. 
I can't remember for what reading, but this exact same card. One, two, three exact same cards came through. And I, I, I think this one did too, but I already know, I, I already know that in the reading, the Ace of Pentacles has come through. Okay. And that's good because we're trying to tap this um, Venus, em, embrace and tap Venus power energy for this time. Okay. This is what we're trying to do. That's why I wanted to do these readings for all the zodiac signs. Me, as a priestess myself of the moon, I wanted to harness this Venus love energy. Okay. Mystical love, I called it. Venus mystical love energy. And so far, I got, you know, we got to say we're getting it. Okay. But this card has also come through. Now, uh, this lover's tarot, sometimes the words they use, I don't understand why they do that because they call this difficulty. Well, you know what? I'm even going to hide that word because I don't think it's difficulty at all. I can, I consider the tens um, large amount supply, large amount. So like you started with one, like here we have one, okay, the ace, okay? And now you've brought it all the way to the ten. But yeah, no, there's no free ride. You know, there's challenges to make things grow, especially if it's business oriented. Okay. But, and, um, but the wings is here for you. Okay. And the butterflies are all about transformation and the wings in this deck means your air element, the swords. So this is a 10 of swords, but to me, tens are about transcendence. And yes, usually you see the 10 of swords, you know, somebody's got 10 <laughs> swords in their back because trust, when you start making coin, and, and make it on your own. They're going to be the backstabbers, especially friends and family, okay? That's why you want to keep things hush, hush. You know, high priestess, nobody going to backstab her because she sent them all to hell. <laughs> She'll just send them to hell. That's what she does, okay? And that's what you, and she won't tell you she's going to send you to hell. She won't, she's not going to tell you, I'm going to do the magic to send you to hell. No, she's just going to send you to hell. <laughs> so, just keep it, because you know, Aquarius people, you <laughs> you kind of chatty sometimes. Keep it to yourself, okay? Because look, you've got the cards here. And then your two planets came through. They're behind your back. I mean, positivity. They're encouraging you, flowing it, giving it to you. Now remember, every planet, every card has a positive and a negative. So keep it, keep things to yourself, okay? But this is a card where, you know, success is out there for you. No doubt about it. But you got to work it. But, you know, and then when you do, when you get to the 10, like here you have two aces desiring. So this could be, you know, you're desiring, you have an idea, you're thinking it out there, you're putting it out there. But trust, even when you're solid with your transformation of success, there's still going to be people coming for you. Okay, so keep things to yourself. Okay, you are the intellectual, you are very inventive, okay, but only share with those you trust the most, okay, just don't start tapping, and then if, and even, but again, even the family can come after you, trust that, okay, they get jealous, you know, and they get, or they want a piece of the action, and you're like, wait a minute, just keep it to yourself, and if you feel anybody's giving you negativity, well, like I said, just send them the help. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, now this is crazy good, Aquarius. Now this card just came yesterday for Scorpio. This exact same card. This exact same card came through. I'm not sure, but in the last three readings, you're number four. This exact same card came through. And the queen of coins came through from another deck. Because I I coupled them, the, key, the queen of coin, the king of coins, okay, the queen of earth, the king of earth. But this exact same king just came through yesterday for Scorpio. And I know that we have already had the ace of gems, the ace of earth, the ace of pentacles come through, the ace of coins, okay, resources. So no doubt about it, my darlings, Aquarius, put it out there. You, you have, you know, I call you the visionaries, I truly do, because you have those ideas that can be made happen, you know, like these Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, you know, Steve Jobs meditated, and my Lord, look what came through for him, okay, the iPhone and everything, changed everybody's lives, all right, 
and uh, it's very powerful very powerful yes your reading is very powerful too and this doesn't usually happen the exact same cards coming through okay that's and this is a double whammy right here okay desire what you want and even if even if you're loving your job right now or your position or whatever's going on you can make it better it can grow farther you know like steve jobs started with a computer then he had the iphone come through okay that's what i'm saying you can always continue to grow but don't put money as the influence to grow no 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 that's why i'm talking about bill um uh, gates and um god i can't what's his name the man from virgin uh, he's got the beard oh yeah yeah i'll probably think about it in a moment here very good very very good you know what i'm gonna i'm just gonna pull the cards here you guys can throw your thoughts out here as you want to but one two three four of the same Exact same card, exact same card, exact same card, and double whammy of Ace of Pentacles has already come through. And, you, and this is a and this is amazing to me. Made two major con cards that happened that are are your rulers, your ruling planets. See, just go for it, my darlings, and the young, <laughs> the young blood uh, prince of fire here. And the queen of the mother herself, the compassionate one. It's beautiful. And the high priestess, nobody messes with her. And see all that intuition. Intuition. Okay. It really has to come. That's, this is not about ego now, Aquarius. Okay. This is about how your intuition. So you do, you have to go into that, you know, meditative moment. I got to turn my head because I know these cards, but the images. You truly have to go, you know, within. You have to take that hour a day to, you know, meditate, lie down, whatever you do. Te turn technology off. Have pen and paper handy. So whatever word or thought or image, if you know, draw the image. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let me see what time we have here. Okay, we're cool. All right, so I know this is Native American... Uh, and we have Spider Woman. Spider Woman. That's it. Spider Woman. I can see because there's the spider in the corner. Okay. There's the spider. You know, I think I'm going to pick two for you. Look at this. This is a beautiful triple goddess. Ah! But you know what? I'm going to pick a card. Well, let's read this one first. Yeah. This is very powerful too. But let's read Spider Woman. I might just want to pick it up again myself. Spider Woman. Spider Woman is an important goddess among many southwestern Native American tribes. Though occasionally destructive, she is nearly always portrayed as beneficent. Beneficent. The Kursan Spider Woman created everything there is by thinking, dreaming, or naming. There you go, Aquarius. Okay. She created everything there is by thinking, dreaming, or naming. She taught the people how to plant seeds. Cherokee grandmother spider brought people the sun and fire. She taught them pottery, weaving, and how to make ceremonial blessings. Spider woman is responsible for bringing fire among the Pueblo, Tewa, and Kiwa tribes. A spider woman named Peliku, found in the Indian subcontinent, also brought fire and light. For the Hopi, Spider Woman is a creator who helped the people during their emergence. Created the moon. <laughs> created the moon. Created the moon. Created the moon. Okay. Created the moon. Has the power to give and take life and is connected to hunting and agriculture. Spider Woman is a reminder that good comes from everywhere. Even the lowly spider, sometimes dismissed as irrelevant, has the power to create and teach. Okay, we were just talking about how you're going to be creating something, okay, Aquarius? And that, that could be even, you know, 
putting your house in order and waiting on the will of heaven. That's been a major theme as we close down 2017. Put your house in order and wait on the will of heaven. Let, let them talk to you in your dreams. Let something happen that is just like, wow, you know, this is not a coincidence. This, I feel in it. And that's what spirituality is all, you know. It's not about you tell them what to do. Oh, no way. They come for you. And you wait and you listen. But, you know, you got to walk the talk, too. That's another thing. And sometimes they appear to help people who are lost. They do that, too. Okay. But if you're following videos like mine, you're not lost. All right. You're just waiting. And, but... 2018 is now the year. Okay. So I'll pick one more for you, Aquarius, because your reading has been very, very wonderful for me. I don't get to usually have same exact cards, completely, especially exact same cards, and that you receive, and that you have two planets, and both your cards came through. That's crazy good. Crazy good. Okay. Oh, Basset, Egyptian Bast. Okay. Egyptian bast, how lovely. The cat goddess from Egypt. That's wonderful. Very powerful. Okay. She's another one. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do with this lovely feminine power player here. Bast, or Bastet, or Pasht. You can see. Okay, she's named a few different names there. Bast. Or Bastet or Pasht was the Egyptian goddess who appeared in cat form. The Egyptians highly revered cats. The word for cat, Ma'u, also denoted light and was cognate with the world for mother. See, you learn something every day. And actually, I was just watching one of those history channel shows where they were talking about the Egyptians, and the Egyptians mummified like eight million cats. They found millions of cats in their little mummies. They, they bestowed the cat with so much wisdom, you know, because the cats would kill rodents and, and, and you know, cats are cool, you know, <laughs> doggies drool pretty much. I love doggies too, but, you know, cats are very mysterious. That's one thing about them. You know, I've had many cats. I've probably had a dozen cats in my life and they're all unique, but they're all the same. It's very genuine. Okay. The cat is a lunar animal and also a solar animal. Representing the power of the sun as reflected in nature. Look at that. The cat is a lunar animal. So we talked about here we had just for this month of January the, the uh, super moon in, in Cancer ruled by Luna. And now we're going to have this powerful, <laughs> crazy 150 year old ago super moon in, in uh, Leo's sun. So this is kind of cool. Okay, the cat is a lunar animal with a solar animal representing the power of the sun is reflected in nature. Since the cat is an earth animal, Bast is also an earth mother goddess, a giver of life and abundance. In touch with her wild, instinctual nature, she also is protector of women during childbirth. Like a cat, she is fiercely independent and belongs to no one but herself. <laughs> there we go. Independent Aquarius folk. Like a cat, she's fiercely independent and belongs to no one but herself. Bast is one of the more joyful goddesses. Her elaborate festivals in the town of Babustus were renowned for their joyful dancing. Embodying a cat's gender aspects, Bast is a personification of life and fruitfulness. Fruitfulness, look at this. How can we deny the fruitfulness on this table for you? Right, my darlings? It's uh, it's really desire. Make it happen. The king of coins is here like, I made it happen. <laughs> I've made it happen. I'm in the castle. I rule the kingdom now. You can see his castle up there, right there. Okay. <gasps> and I just, yes. I didn't pay attention, but this is Zeus. Okay, Zeus. There is the, the highest Greek god in the Olympian. So, but we don't need gender specific on this channel, male or female. Think like Zeus, okay? Bast is the personification of life and fruitfulness. 
the quintessential life-affirming mother. She reminds us to be playful and relax like a cat and to find occasions to celebrate life. And there it is. You know, every day, wake up with an attitude of gratitude and you can see the moon. See right there, the moon, up full moon. We have the high priestess here. She's all about the Luna and her intuition. She knows when to speak. She knows when to not speak. Okay. And she goes with, she's, she, if anything's like a cat, it's a high priestess. She knows when to play and she knows when to lay low. She doesn't. She knows when to sleep and she knows to run around and play. So, well, I enjoyed your reading very much, Aquarius. They've all been very powerful in their unique way, but I know I repeat myself, but my goodness, how many exact same cards. And that Zeus, king of coins, just came through to tell you, you can do this. You know, put it in righteousness. This is not about ego, though. This is about you thinking it through. And let the flow come. Let the universe bring that flow of money. You have an idea, make it happen. But let the rest come from the universe, okay? And uh, uh, it's just unique how I read about what is this man's name from Virgin Records? I know you know who I'm talking about, but anyway. And Bill Gates and, you know, Steve Jobs, they all didn't say, I'm going to make this happen and make money. No, no, no. And, you know, Bill Gates, he he shares so many of his money to many. He's a huge. He and his wife always give money. Love to all. Make February happen for yourselves, my friendly ones. Ciao.